All right, I have visitors. <laughs> this little guy here, he's due for a nap, but he hasn't wanted to take a nap at all. So it's it's uh, it's been rough. Welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> It happens every day to me at work. Can't wait for him to go to daycare. I mean, I love my kid, but daycare is important. I wanna love you. Hello, kimchi lovers. Today is all about celebrating Nico's first 100 days of life. But before we get to that, here's a little preview and some fun life updates to get you caught up. As you know, we had to do our first hotel stay with Nico due to some unexpected hiccups with the annoying renovations we're doing in our home. In the process, things have broken. Inspiration has been sought and patience has been tested. A lot has definitely changed since Marie and I moved from Chicago to the city of Evanston. Now we're sharing our food adventures with our little one, Nico Daywan. Not a dull day with our bundle of joy. Here's a little peek. I mean, I'm going to go to the road. Yeah, no more screen time, Nico. No more screen time. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? You're driving mom now, huh? Just like his mom always wants to be out and about. You know it. Yeah, he, he definitely did not take after me. Yeah, this is Nico's first Halloween. He's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> the way to New York to find tuna bread and we just happened to find it here in Chicago well in Evanston, Evanston. Yeah. so we wanted to try this uh... no I, I was I was surprised that they had it yeah I know I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere else except for in New York um we, we were gonna eat there but there was like a ton of students doing their homework so there was no tables either. there was no table so yeah. <laughs> we're in the car with our friend Ranel on the phone hi Ranel hi hi <laughs> <laughs> The bun's sweet, but it's mostly bun. You got another. You got to. You got to take another bite that gets more of the filling. You get the spongy bun, and then the filling is just like a regular tuna bread, I mean, tuna sandwich filling. But I want a bowl to try. Mm -hmm. Papa's ripping you. Apparently, he's falling asleep. Yeah, he's All, All right, right. switch. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's good stuff. Mm. Does it, is it similar to the one you grew up with? Yeah. It's very similar to the one that I grew up with. The bun is softer and sweeter though. It's kind of like... It's spicy though. It's like more of like a dinner roll yeah. instead of a bun. It's like a dinner roll with spicy tuna. The ones that we had didn't have spicy tuna in, but this is really good. So in lieu of not having the tuna buns that I remember from New York, this is a good, this is a good alternative. I really like this. Mm. Very good. Yeah, so this was great. I really like the street noyas. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And there's quite a few other restaurants that we want to go to. And there's a Korean restaurant that has hotto. 
Yes, that's going to be the next place. Yeah, so that's very interesting. Uh, we haven't had hot dog here in uh, the States, so but yeah, on to the next place. Look at that smile. How can you not love that smile? Yeah, that makes it all worth it right there. See, that right there makes it all worth it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell, tell, tell all the kimchi and beaners that you hope to appear in more videos. It's cold outside, Brussels. Yes, it's cold. You know that? So we're gonna put this bear outfit on Nico. Right, Nico? You ready for it? Okay, one, two, in. Yeah, we're gonna sip it up. All done. Yeah, so we're coming to get some things for Nico's 100 day celebration. We're gonna get some dumplings, hopefully rice cake, and it was something else. I forgot what it was. Kimchi. <laughs> oh, kimchi to make uh, kimchi pajong. Mayo, avocado, spicy, spicy grab. Okay. Right, so like? The seaweed one. Uh, I don't think so. I'm just gonna get two. Yeah, I think a little one should be enough. Right? Yeah. Kind of country style kitchen. Oh, nice. Does this look huge? The old food brand? So, I don't know, which ones were you, are you picking? We're done. We're done. Mission we accomplished. Ah, look at what Maria's looking at. I don't know what flavor to get them. Um, I don't know. Start we them off. We always get regular or peach. Or... What, what's regular flavor? Just no flavor. <laughs> I'd go with uh, maybe strawberry. You know, something familiar. What about apples? You gonna do tropical? No, apples. Apple. apple? Okay. So Maria in their endless quest. Banana Makali, $3.99. I don't See, know if it's any good, but. That's a smaller bottle, so yeah. It's gonna be a good day tomorrow. Well, in case we're won you're wondering, we got these. Handbox. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that word, but these are pretty expensive, the traditional clothing. So we got this one from Little Teeny. You can see it. And I um, can't remember how much. I think it was like around $48 or something like that, or maybe $50. But yes, I hopefully it will fit. I think it's a little big for him, but we'll make it work. So I think traditionally uh, you place the decorations in a way that it, you're kind of honoring the baby king, so kind of like an altar, but it's Thanksgiving as well, so I kind of wanted just to set the table and make it look like it's ready for dinner too, so I combine both. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm also excited to put this on baby Nico. This is from my coworkers at Rogers Townsend. All right, so live from our very humble kitchen, we're gonna get cooking. And the first thing we're gonna do is a pumpkin pie. So basically you're gonna need one of these pre-made graham cracker crusts. Um, 
couple eggs, a 100% pure pumpkin. You don't want the stuff with the sugar added on it. Just plain and simple, just pumpkin. And condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. And I add about half of that can. So I added a whole 13 ounce uh, can of puree pumpkin and half of a 14 ounce condensed milk. And if you don't know what, what to do with the rest of the condensed milk, just put it on coffee. Pinch some cinnamon. And a pinch of nutmeg. Like always. Now we're gonna get into the uh, Korean recipes. We're gonna start with some bulgogi meatballs. So the onions make you cry? You try not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanna run your knife just in case there are little... Big bits. Big bits, like this one. So I think I did... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I think I did a third of a medium to large onion. Um, you can do however much you want depending on how much meat you're using. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use soy sauce, marine, garlic powder, uh, ground pepper, and sugar and salt. Alright, so I didn't squeeze the onion because I want some of that water as far as like the juices. So I just kind of eyeball it with, like two of, maybe three of soy sauce. Just a touch of marine. Some garlic powder, some black pepper. It's Korean, it's a Korean recipe after all, so it needs a little bit of sugar. I think it needs more, but I'm gonna leave it at that. And then just a touch of salt. Not too much because we have soy sauce there. And then we can um, try it and see how it goes. You little pieces of meat and then you make the little meatballs. So I ended up adding a little bit more of sugar, uh, soy sauce, and just a touch of salt. Um, and now you can really smell the bulgogi, so feel free to adjust as needed. It depends on, again, how much meat you use and, and all that. So I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit more scallions. All right, so next we're gonna do the scallions and the kimchi pancakes. Alright, so normally I add a little bit of cornstarch to the recipe, but when you move, you can't find anything, so just regular all purpose flour for now. <laughs> and I eyeball this, I don't have a measurement for this. Like, I want enough scallions, but I also need the flour to bind everything, so just a little bit of salt, a bit of sugar, and one egg. It's fine. I don't think the egg is traditional, that's just my take on it. Don't tell my mother in law. So for the kimchi version, um, because I don't know if everybody likes it uh, or is used to kimchi, we bought just a tiny can and what I'm going to do is just use um, this mix that we already prepared and just add it to it. Um, just, we just have to make sure that we remove as much of the liquid as possible so it's not too soggy. And you want to save some of that kimchi juice of course because you want to make some kimchi bokkenbap later. Run your knife through the kimchi so you can have little pieces, not large pieces in the pajon. So here we have the two mixes. This is the scallion pancake and the kimchi pancake. Nico, estás viendo gente nueva, estás excited. Dale, pues pítalo. Pues, este sí. Nosotros somos Oh my god, vamos a la cita médica. Ah, Nicholas. Llama. Uh, ah, verdad, ese es el hijo mío. <risa> bueno, Nahor, no, cuando vas a armar el. ¿El qué? ¿El otro sofá? El otro sofá. Cuando me lleguen otras piezas. Tacho, eso se va a quedar ahí meses. Mira, 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 mira. Deja que lo vea la, la, la mamá de Nahor, se va a 
Carlos va a ser buen padre, va con ese único cariño. A ver, yo, eso es la, yo no tengo paciencia. Bueno, no es que no tenga paciencia, es que yo siempre he sido así, como que. Nosotros es como que nos gusta rápido. Exacto, Exacto. tienes que bajarle uno de un lado. No, porque hay uno por dentro, Carlos. Ah, yeah. Hay uno por dentro. Mijo, ¿qué te cuentas? Ah, este es el que se amaja ahí. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Mico, la coronación. Y la coronita, eh. Ah, sí, no, sí. tienes que sentar en el trono. ¿Trono o el oro? Ah, el trono, el trono. Mira, <risa> <risa> ¿dónde está su peluche? Mr. Foxy. Ay, mío. Mr. King. Ay, se ve súper lindo. Hola, mi amor. Sí. ¿Cómo es no, papá? ¿Cómo te Él estás? es el nene de papá, o sea, se mami ¿Qué? nada. Nico. No yet. No yet. <risa> Dios te oiga, viste, porque este. Hola. Hola. Nene, mi mamá, bro. Hasta ahora le hace más caso que a mí, mira, bella. Sí, es que, que me ve todo el tiempo también. Como que, mami, ya no es interesante. Yo necesito a alguien nuevo. No, pero le cogió el bus. Espérate, ¿esto tú? Nico ya, como que, ah, ah me tapan los ojos. Back in the day, the survival rate for newborn babies in Korea was very low, and Pekil signified a critical milestone of a child's life and a sign that he or she would make it out of infancy. While it's not celebrated as much these days, we were drawn to its significance after years of struggling to have a healthy pregnancy and after three very tough months worrying and caring for Nico on our own. It was so cool that this celebration beautifully coincided with Thanksgiving and we were indeed beyond thankful for everything this baby has brought into our lives. Ooh, so we just had Nico's 100 day feast and uh, it was pretty good. I, I really enjoyed it and we still have one more item that we haven't tried, which is the rice cakes. And uh, I'm gonna let Maria do the honors and have rice cakes because I've had them before. I more or less know what to expect, but Maria doesn't. Let's see her reaction. Do the pink one. So you do the smell test. Doesn't smell like anything. Did it squirt? Yeah, it's like juicy. It's like juicy, really? Okay, that's not the rice cake that I know. Let me see the inside. Yeah, I don't know what's in there. Um, what does it taste like? It's like nuts. It's like nutty? Okay. Because the rice cakes that I remember were just plain rice cakes. They didn't. They're hard. Mm. You're not supposed to be like this? <laughs> they were fresh, supposedly. Yeah. Mm. No. no. Yep. Nico, you're 100 days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is he talking? He was talking. He was telling me how his day was going, but he gets camera shy. I know you had Titi Cora and you had uh, uh, your cousin Carlos. Did you have a good time, Nico? Yeah, we dressed you up. You you did some king cosplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And that's what it was for Thanksgiving and Nico's 100 days. It was nice having uh, my cousin over and his girlfriend. We had a really good time. And again, you know, we're just having simple, simple things. We're not doing anything extravagant. Because I guess we're just not extravagant people, right? <laughs> but uh, to everybody else, we, you know, Maria, myself, and Nico, I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving and were able to share uh, really good moments with your family and friends. So, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.